It is March 26, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. Epic Games just previewed some new tech coming to Unreal Engine 5.2. And it's unreal, because it makes 3D graphics look too real. They demoed this Rivian truck driving through the jungle, and the amount of realism is crazy, like rocks and dirt flying off the wheels, and plants reacting to the motion of the vehicle. What's crazy though is this truck contains 71 million polygons, and each tire has a million of its own tiny little meshes, which deform the terrain around it, all rendered in real time. Like this is not a Pixar movie, where all the graphics are pre-rendered offline in advance. It all renders in real time based on user input, made possible by Unreal's micro-polygon tech called Nanite, which was released exactly one year ago. That's old news, but today they announced a new material framework called Substrate, and to demo it, they changed the paint job on the truck to Opal, which has extremely complex, colorful reflections. But on top of that, you have multiple layers like a clear coat and dust on the vehicle as well, and the reflection changes based on how these layers interact with each other. This allows you to create different materials with different shading models and layer them together which could be really useful when splattering blood and guts everywhere in a violent video game. That's pretty cool, but they also just introduced a brand new suite of experimental procedural generation tools. What they did next is drop in a procedural assembly into the environment. This is kind of like a prefab developed by an artist, however, it interacts with the surrounding environment. As the assembly is dragged around, the environment adapts to it, and does so in a deterministic way that can be configured by the developer. In addition, this tool can be used to create large worlds very quickly. You can create an infinite number of unique landscapes by simply tweaking some settings. And that means in the near future, almost anybody could build a massive open world game without the need to plop down every single asset. It doesn't replace hand-drawn artwork, but it does allow you to scale it much more efficiently. Unreal also announced updates to its Fortnite editor, which basically allows anybody to create their own custom Fortnite world. It's a very savvy business move by Epic Games, because it's the perfect stepping stone into the Unreal Engine game development ecosystem. It's kind of like Roblox on steroids. In addition, they announced Fab.com, a new unified marketplace for 3D assets, where creators will keep 88% of the revenue of anything sold there. It'll be really fun when they have procedural assets there that you can buy to generate a massive world with minimal effort. And finally, that brings us to yet another crazy announcement, the MetaHuman Animator. This tool allows you to record your face on your phone, then reproduce it as a high-fidelity animation for a character in your game. If you're a good actor, that means you can create terrifyingly realistic facial animations that rival Hollywood, like this demo of Hellblade 2 using Unreal 5.2. But all this makes me wonder if if this tech is on a collision course with artificial intelligence. Imagine a world where anybody could just describe their own fantasy world and have it procedurally generated on the fly. In 2023, we already have hyper-realistic text-to-image generators, text-to-video is getting better every day, and the logical next step is text-to-video game. I'd be surprised if Epic Games wasn't already working on generative AI tooling. The technology might still be a few more weeks away, but I for one can't wait to build my own Epic Metaverse and start living in my own perfect Unreal world. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.